practicing my rap beats. I want to be a rap star, I'm thinking. Oh. They, you know. Okay. Whose birthday is it? That's a beautiful birthday cake. It is Pentecost, so that means it's the birthday of the church. Oh. It's our birthday. That's why you asked me to wear my red tie today. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. But the church is 2,000 years old, and there's only seven candles on this cake. Shouldn't there be 2,000? Well, I don't think 2,000 candles would fit on this cake. Mm. So we have seven candles, and that represents the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, because at Pentecost, we are given the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I love gifts. Seven gifts. What are they? Um, let's talk about them in a little bit. But first, Let's learn some hand motions okay. for today's psalm. Let's do it. Can I, can I do my beat? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Before we begin our liturgy of the word, we're going to learn some hand motions to our psalm. And it's Psalm 104. Lord, send out your spirit. And the words to the refrain are, O oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Now you try. O oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Very good. Now, let's put some hand motions to those words. Oh God, we're just going to lift our hands. Oh God, send out your spirit. Send out your spirit. We're just going to shake our fingers and bring them down. So, oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Let's try that together. Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Very good. Shall we try it one more time? Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Very good. Now, let's try it with music. Eric, take it away. were together in one place. Suddenly, there was a noise from heaven, like the sound of a mighty wind. It filled the house where they were meeting. Then, they saw what looked like fiery tongues moving in all directions. And a tongue came and settled on each person there. The Holy Spirit took control of everyone, and they began speaking whatever languages the Spirit allowed. Many religious Jews from every country in the world were living in Jerusalem. And when they heard this noise, a crowd gathered. But they were surprised because they were hearing everything in their own language. They were excited and amazed and said, Don't all of these people who are speaking come from Galilee? Then why do we each hear them speaking our very own languages? Uh, some of us are from Parthia, Medea, and Elam. Others are from Mesopotamia, Judea, 
Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, parts of Libya near Cyrene, Rome, Crete, and Arabia. Some of us were born Jews, and others of us have chosen to be Jews. Yet we all hear them using our own languages to tell the wonderful things God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together now, let us sing and pray our responsorial psalm. Take it away, Eric. Your spirit renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. We bless you, O oh God, for you are so great. Your spirit and covers in beauty and grace. Though times we deny all the pain and the tears, your spirit empowers us and soon we face our fears. Oh God, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but they all come from the same Spirit. There are different ways to serve the same Lord, and we can each do different things, yet the same God works in all of us and helps us in everything we do. The Spirit has given each of us a special way of serving others. The body of Christ has many different parts, just as any other body does. Some of us are Jews and others are Gentiles. Some of us are slaves and others are free. But God's Spirit baptized each of us and made us part of the body of Christ. Now we each drink from that same Spirit. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then 
he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Ken, this weekend we celebrate Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit, and the birthday of the church. And there are seven gifts. Could you tell me about them? Yes. Let's begin with the gift of wisdom. Wisdom helps me to value the things of the world and to cherish divine things. Counsel, the gift of counsel, helps me to judge well and to choose the best way to serve God. Knowledge, the gift of knowledge, helps me to choose to serve God joyfully. This is what we call fear of the Lord. And when we say fear of the Lord, a lot of people think, I should be afraid of God. No, that's not what we mean by fear of the Lord. By fear of the Lord, we mean awe and wonder in the Lord. Did you ever look at a sunset or a brand new baby and you just had the sensation of ah and wonder? God has done this. That's what we mean by fear of the Lord. So this gift helps me to be amazed by God, God's gifts and God's love. I think sunsets and sunrises are very good for inspiring all. The gift of understanding. This gift helps me to grasp the meaning of God's truths. Sometimes life gets a little complicated. That's true. And it gets a little hard. Mm -hmm. And the gift of understanding helps us to, to grasp what God is trying to say to us. <laughs> this is a big word, fortitude. Fortitude, we can also say strength. The gift of fortitude helps me to be strong in difficulties and to face challenges with courage. We sure have needed the gift of fortitude in these past few months, haven't we? That is true. And finally, another big word. This word is piety. Piety. The gift of piety helps me to choose to serve God joyfully. So those are our seven gifts. Well, how am I to remember them? Seven is a lot. I can't remember three things. Well, I know. Remember, you wanted to be a rap star. More than anything. Let's do a rap song with the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. That sounds terrific. Can you help me out? Can I help you right here? I have just happened to bring along <gasps> my shaker. Here we go. Wisdom, counsel, knowledge, and fear the Lord offers us a spiritual smorgasbord. Understanding fortitude and piety makes us awesome members of society. Wow, that was fantastic. Do it one more time so that I can okay. hit them all. All, all seven of them. Because I'm going to get all seven. Okay, here we go. Wisdom, counsel, knowledge, and fear the Lord offers us a spiritual smorgasbord. Understanding fortitude and piety makes us awesome members of society. That was great. I think it's time for cake. I think it is too. Let's go get some. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. These are just like the tongues of flame over the heads of the apostles. Yeah. Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Oh God, send out your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. We bless you, O oh God, for you are so great. Your spirit encovers in beauty and grace. Though times we deny all the pain and the tears, your spirit empowers us, and soon we face our fears. O oh God, Send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth.